Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play To The Moon. Uh, let's just get right into it, and let's go and open this memento here. Appears to be this dead rabbit. Don't know who ran over it, but uh, yeah, as I mentioned in the last part, River does seem to be very concerned about it. Oh, that's a bit morbid, isn't it? Alright, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. There we are. Let's go ahead and open this. You know what? It's a you know it's a fantastic wedding when the memento is roadkill. Hey, maybe she saw it as a metaphor for a terrible marriage. So years later, she began folding the rabbits because she was reminded of how rotten it was. Or well, you know something equally pretentious. Cool story, Neil. Ah, Rosalind. Getting a little jab in there. Oh, it appears that that semi-trailer was the one that, uh, knocked over that rabbit. Poor thing. What's with all the roadkills today? Don't you look at me like that. Smells like a farm. And roadkill. Deactivate the scent simulator or get away from here already. Hmm. I guess I wasn't. Ooh. Oh, I guess we're not really here per se, so uh, we can't get run over. Well, that's a nice looking horse there. It's blue. Whoa. Don't do it. Don't do what? You know what. Don't not ride this horse? What are you, five years old? Okay, I won't not ride it. Yeah! Quit wasting time, Neil. Oh crap! That can't be good. Uh, do something! Don't just stand there! Help me! Damn it, this was not in the job description. Receive note, Dr. Neil Watts. Huh, let's have a look at that. <laughs> Dr. Neil Watts, village idiot. Very appropriate. Well, we'd better go after him and see what's what. Uh, let's see, it looks like me some sort of farm or some kind of uh, some ranch or something like that. Yep, there's the edge of the borders there. So let's see. Oh, River's here, and Johnny as well. Uh, let's talk to this horse trainer here. Is that really a good idea? She should be okay. She's not new to this anymore. But she has never done it by herself before. It'll be fine. I'm not a child. Ah! River! What's the matter? Let's go. Hey, wait up. Huh, I wonder if Neil got off that horse yet. This is about 19% more than I can handle. What a moron. Oh, what the corn cob. Alright, we're on a horse. And we can hold space to gallop. I guess Dr. Rosalind is uh, a bit more competent than Neil in, uh, in this respect. She seems to be able to. Let's have a try this gallop. Oh, nice. So there seems to be some sort of random person on that one. As well as this other horse. This is a nice change of pace. Huh. 
Yeah, I was just about to ask, or um, well, to wonder to myself, I suppose, not that I'm really asking anyone, but uh, how we unlocked all the memory links in this segment. I guess it's just wandering around, because I don't really see any objects, but yeah, this is nice. Look at this, it's like a, you know, a pond there, I'm right, stuck in some flowers. In springtime, other people around here. I wonder where Johnny and River got to. Oh, Did they have to catch up to her or something. Come back, River. Man, she's good. Ah, uh, what? What are you up to, buddy? There we go. Thanks! Ow. Well, I guess that's one thing done. Um, I'm still more concerned about how do we get to these memory links. So. This doesn't seem to be that... Oh, I see. Okay, what's what's up to? Uh, so that's the memento. Yeah, this memento will do. I'm not getting on my horse again. You can go get the rest of the memory links. Let's never speak of what just happened again. Uh, looks like my thing's a little bugged out here, so I can't really see how many I've got. I guess that's a free. Speak of what just happened again. Got to go on the road. Okay, I'll tell you what, um, I'm gonna have another look around here. Um, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, yeah, uh, it turns out that I had to catch up with River, who was riding really fast, so I had to um, sort of take my hand off the mouse there. But now that's done, let's go ahead and break this meal. And I uh, hate to do another cut to you guys, but I will see you guys in a little bit again. Okay, and here we go. Oh, appears to be a handbag of some sort. Is the diagnosis certain? Yes, we've reached a consensus on the results. Unfortunately, like many cases of pervasive developmental disorders, this is a rather late diagnosis. Had you known while you were a child, miss, it could have been it could have saved you a lot of trouble. Do you have any books on it? This one is by Tony Atwood. He's one of the specialists on the subject. You can borrow it free of charge for now, just don't elope with it. Thanks, Doc. Now, are you two a couple? Unmarried and without any other legal, current legal affiliation. Yes, I see. Well, I could give you a referral to a specialised counsellor if you wish. Is there anything unsettling in a relationship? No. And you, sir? No, it's fine. Nonetheless, sir, you should also give the book a read. It'd help you understand her condition. I'd rather not. Why is that? Well, it's your call. In the meantime, there is a thing called equine therapy that might help her. A ranch just north of here offers it. I can contact them for you. Told you so. 
Oh, uh, well, uh, a lot of things happened just there. Um, okay, so I'll spell it out for those of you who haven't quite been able to figure it out yet. Um, I believe River suffers from some uh, sort of, maybe a milder form of autism. Um, I believe that the doctor who just gave a book there, he, he talked about Tony Atwood, who I believe is a uh, an author on the subject. So, you know, all the... You know, all the... Um, you know, she can't express what she wants to say and things like that. Um, and, you know, the kind of repetitive behaviours, these are all kind of... Um, s not symptoms per se, but sort of trademarks of a or characteristics of someone who has autism. So, um, I'm not... I've known a couple of autistic uh, people in my life. Um, I'm not really sure if, um, you know, ca if you can catch it early or something like that, you can sort of help them through it, because I, as I understand it, it's more of a... more of something, you know, your, your brain's not really kind of wired up right, so to speak. So I'm not really sure if you can sort of learn to hide those things, but I suppose in some of the milder forms, as perhaps River's got here, it's very ambiguous, um, but, you know, perhaps in the milder forms you could learn some behaviours to sort of uh, mask it, almost, but so that was what Isabel was talking about earlier on in, when we were talking in the bookstore how she'd able to, she'd been able to, um, you know uh, learn certain behaviours to act in a normal way, whereas River here has not so let's talk to the doctor um, I wonder if it actually confirms what I was talking about. Uh, no, not really. It just says an author of a series of books on River's condition. Oh, well, no matter. I'm I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on it, but uh, I believe that's what it is. A plain tawny handbag. Hmm. And another thing is that you know Johnny. I guess he loves her enough that he he doesn't really want to. Uh, go any further into that, but yeah, autistic people tend to um, you know relate to animals a bit better, I think because uh, a lot of their communication is non-verbal, so uh, that's why they kind of have a particular affinity of that sort of person but anyway uh, can we have a look at this book here? no, it doesn't look like it uh, excuse me, could you please silence the clock? The ticking really bothers her. It's not that severe. I'll be okay. No problem. It's standard policy. If there's anything else at all that makes you uncomfortable, please just let me know. Thank you. Huh. I guess that explains the ones in the house. Ah, uh, yes. The clocks in Johnny's house never ticked. So I guess that explains why you never, uh, or you made some kind of modification to let that happen. Oh, that's very nice of uh, the receptionist to do that. Let's have a look what's going on here. Just a bit longer. They'll be calling for you soon. Hmm. Okay, I guess this is the memory link. It's a stuffed pl toy platypus again. I can't believe this piece of atrocity is dated from all the way back here. Looks like someone took good care of it. She's still got pretty bad taste in animals, though. Oh, what's them's fighting words? Uh, now, the only problem is we don't know the actual memory link to get out of here. Uh, it's not the handbag. Can we just leave? Seems to be handbags all over the place. No, that's just the uh, same dialogue again. What is this arrow here? Oh, I see. It must be the clock then. Yeah. I guess we couldn't do it until uh, the receptionist showed us that we could jump on this table. Okay, so let's head on through here, and, uh, well, I guess you know the drill by now. Okay, and, uh, let's head on through. Hmm. 
Oh, what's this? Looks like it's some sort of movie theater. Psst, look. I know. I can't believe he once paid to see this crap in theater. No, you idiot. Look around. We leaped. So we've gone back nearly to the start of his memory. Holy overcooked macaroni! The kid's in the fitter all by himself! What a loser! You go to buy the yeah, you go to the fitter by yourself all the time. That's different. No one's competent enough to match my taste. But that aside, how could anyone last through this rubbish? And thus, this movie sucks on both physical and metaphy metaphysical levels. Q.E.D. Come on, let's go. What? Oh, right. Uh, what? Always a joker. Okay, well, uh, looked like Johnny was a little bit unhappy there. He doesn't seem to be a river. Let's have a look where he went. Oh, what's the matter, buddy? Whoa, wait. I ain't talking to no emo teenager. Grammar, my dear Watson. Shut up. That's not even a full sentence. Let's just go look for the Mentos. Gee, he looks really sad here. Huh, so let's have a talk to this... Oh. I guess we won't be talking to a, uh, <laughs> that person there. When we touch them, they just disappear. Oh, why is that? What are you doing? That's the third person you've removed there. Eh, not like it's permanent. Hmm. We've never been able to do this before, so maybe it's some sort of uh, clue or some way to trigger the next event? It is a way to make this kind of eerie. You know, poking them out of the way like that does nothing, right? Then why complain? Let's make this place like a some kind of ghost cinema. Yeah. Ooh, what's that candy bar? Looks like some ice cream, uh, some cookies or something. It seems like, and a lot of sauce. Something's fishy here. No one has cookies with sauce. Let's just continue erasing these people, and then we'll go talk to that joint down there. Oh look, this place is all empty and creepy now. I hope you're happy. Mm. Oh dear, looks like I have made this place very creepy. Getting stood up? Now that's a Kodak moment. You relate well with your kin, I see. gone, it's all creepy here now, and all the lights are dimming out, and stuff like that. Well, there's nothing here. I hate to say it, but I guess we have to nag something out of him again. All yours. At least there are no olives this time. Poor Johnny. It's all alone. Oh. She was here. River? You were in there this whole time? I waited for you at the lobby. I thought you didn't come. Why did you leave? I thought we were watching the movie together. Huh? I'm the one who should ask that. What do you mean? We were watching the movie together, and then you left. We weren't watching it together. 
I didn't even know where you were. If you saw me in there, why didn't you come and find me? What difference does it make? We were watching the same movie in the same room. <laughs> What's wrong? You're so weird. Do you not want to watch the movie together anymore? Of course I do. Come, let's head back in before it ends. I feel like I should make a clever remark. You feel wrong. Well, let's just hope our ride's waiting for us in there. Ah, okay. It's still creepy in here, though. Yeah, a couple of other things that I neglected to mention before at the doctor's place is that a couple of other things that you might... are characteristic of an autistic person is that they kind of don't really understand, um, like, social norms, I guess you could say, for uh, most pe that most people find. Another thing that you might have noticed as well, uh, that uh, River's been doing quite a lot throughout any of uh, Johnny's ages, is that she's been uh, avoiding eye contact a lot, which is another characteristic of someone who's autistic. But anyway, uh, let's try and head back in. There's the last memory link. And there's a platypus again. Well, it's nice if they're together now. Okay, so there's that memento there, but uh, I think it's a good time to call it a wrap here. We've gone through quite a lot of that uh, time here, and we've found out much, much more about River and her condition. Uh, we now know that it's some sort of uh, autism, I believe. Um, so anyway, uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.